Hey guys, welcome to Gear View. Today we're going to be reviewing the Madrox Shark 2.0s. The first thing that I want to point out about these shoes is the downturn of the shoe. Um, not necessarily the aggressiveness of it. It is fairly aggressive as you can see, but it's not the most aggressive out there. The thing that's different and unique about this shoe in particular is the curvature of the actual shoe. And what it does is it very much matches the curvature of your actual foot. And what that does is gives you a very secure fit, absolutely no slippage that I've noticed in this shoe. Um, in fact, it's so securely fit to your shoe or to your foot that it's actually pretty hard to get these off. Um, the first couple of times, it was it was pretty hard to get them off. Um, I had to kind of figure out a little bit of a trick to it, and you get used to it eventually. But um, yeah, very secure fit. The next thing that I want to point out about the shoe is that it's got a divot in the front of the shoe, which I really like, and I point this out pretty much every time a shoe has it. Uh, what that does, it takes away dead space in the toe and gives you just better edging ability and more secure fit, which kind of adds to the whole uh, curvature of the shoe and just really secure fit out of the shoe. Another really good thing about this shoe in particular, and actually my favorite part about the shoe personally, is the heel of the shoe. Um, as you can see, it's very secure. You really, uh, really lock your heel in there when you put it in. But what's really good about this heel is that it's got this piece of rubber right here. And what that piece of rubber does is just allows you to really micro heel on really tiny surfaces. Um, but it's also got, you know, like the bigger part to it as well. So you can just get an obscene amount of power out of your, your heel in this shoe. Probably, probably my favorite part of the shoe right there. One other thing about these shoes that I should mention is that it doesn't have a very clearly defined toe box which a lot of aggressive shoes do have a very defined toe box and that can kind of give it give it a different fit uh, as far as aggressive shoes go. If you're the kind of person that normally climbs with an unaggressive shoe and you're used to just kind of like sliding your foot in there, you'll probably really like these. Um, personally, I'm more used to a toe box and it took a little bit of getting used to, but once I got used to it, honestly, I didn't find that it made that big of a difference either way but just thought I should point that out. One other thing that's uh, really unique about this shoe in particular is that pretty much the entire thing um, is covered in rubber. Almost the entire shoe. There's like one little patch right there that's not. But other than that, almost the entire shoe is covered in rubber. And that's going to do two things, really. Um, the first is the shoe's not going to stretch very much, so when you size it down, which I'll mention how much you should at the end of this video, um, don't don't size down too much just because the shoe is really not going to stretch very much and the other thing is you're going to get friction pretty much from all angles on the rock um, if you throw a toe hook you know you got this whole surface right here um, just throwing the side of your foot up against the rock you know you got it all right here heel hook toe hook just I mean everywhere you just get friction from every part of the shoe um, so yeah as far as the basic construction of the shoe goes, you've got this uh, the one strap system right here. Um, kind of got like a tongue right here that, that comes out of the shoe, folds over. Um, you got your basic two little straps to help put the shoe on. Uh, it's pretty standard as far as slipper shoes go, honestly, um, other than the fact that it's completely covered in rubber. Overall, really like this shoe. Um, it's very different, I'll say that. So if you're used to climbing with more aggressive shoes from different companies, just be warned that it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But overall, it's a great shoe. Uh, fantastic heel right here. Uh, pretty good toe. Got the toe divot that I mentioned earlier, covered in rubber, so you get a lot of friction out of it. Um, yeah, really good shoe. And it's it's really good for the, uh, the money, actually, also. Um, this shoe runs for about $120.00 and kind of an equivalent shoe from another company is anywhere from like 140 to anywhere I mean anywhere to almost $200 if you're going Sportiva so if you're looking to save a little money try something different and still get a really really good shoe out of it um, this is a good bet so yeah thanks for watching guys Hey guys, I just wanted to attach one more product to the end of this video, and that is the Trigger Wire Carabiner from Madrock.
So what's really special about this carabiner is that it's going to lock into an open gate position, as you can see right there. And if you can't already figure out why that's awesome, it's because you're pretty much never ever going to miss a clip with this guy. You're just going to slip the rope in there, it's going to pop shut, and you're going to be safe. It's great for going for the on-site burn, um, because you know, you're going to get to the section, you're just going to pop it in, and you're going to slip the rope in, you're not going to have to worry about missing it while you're on the crux. Um, now the only thing about it is it is a little bit of a one-off, uh, at least on overhung routes, simply because you can't always, you know, like lower to your carabiner and uh, lock it in there for the next guy that's going up. But at least for the first burn and setting the draws, it's super awesome. And on uh, something that's more like of a technical face climb, it's great because, you know, you can lower it to wherever you think the, cl uh, the crux of the route is, clip this into the bolts, and then uh, have it ready for you the next burn that you give. So yeah. Super cool product. Um, I'd never used it before, but it is always a great relief to have it when you're up there and you're pumped out, and especially on a run out route, you know, you're just going to clip it in, throw the rope through, and you're safe. So, yeah, that's the Madrock Trigger Wire Carabiner.